I never have red nails. I don't like it. But anyways, I, I, I can't even take myself seriously right now. So yeah. I think I'm focused. Sometimes my monitor lies to me. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video I'm going to be doing a two-in-one get ready with me. I will show you how I got this hairstyle as well as this makeup look right here. So if you want to hang out with me for the next few minutes and get ready, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I realize that my hair may be a little bit distracting in its current state but I am trying out a very popular half wig that released around the springtime of this year and that is Sensational's Rainmaker. I have it in a color number two and I'm going to style it for you guys hopefully do like a half up half down style that's why I have some leave out here in the front and then I'm going to do my makeup for you guys and just chill chit chat for a little bit. I really don't wear half wigs like that only because I feel like it's just hard for me to blend my hair it's just tough. But I wanted to try this one out, especially after I reviewed Janet Collection Jenna. But yeah, I thought that wig was really pretty and I really wanted to do like a half up, half down style. And I was like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about this one that came out. So I purchased it. I want to say it was like 15 something dollars. It's definitely less than 20. Here is what the stock card looks like. Looks really, really pretty. I know that they have a few more additions to this line. I think they have like Moneymaker, Heartbreaker. There's another one. The last two, they were really trying to come for Janet Collection because they looked very similar to Jenna and Amani from Janet Collection. And um, you get your like basic cap construction with the half wig. There's a big comb right here in the front and there is a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. The comb in the back is big as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to gather some of the hair. So I have this Jamaican black castor oil gel from Shea Moisture and I'm gonna use that. And I'm just gonna try to slick my hair down. Did I bring a brush? And to, I think I'm going to use my natural hair to conceal the hair tie. So now I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin down the little tail end of my natural hair. So yeah, I hope everybody had a really nice and chill Thanksgiving, if that's what you're going for. I'm always going for chill during the holidays. And this is like the first year in like five years that I have not gone Black Friday shopping I just I just really wasn't in the mood for some reason on Thanksgiving morning I woke up at 3 40 in the morning 3 40 I don't know why but my body was like you know what it's a good time to start the day I'm being sarcastic but um yeah I was up at 3 40 and this was also the first year that we ate late my family typically eats around like one, two o'clock. I wouldn't say one o'clock, I would say like two. We usually eat around two o'clock and this was the first year that we ate dinner late and we ate around like 4.30. Let me know down below if you cook Thanksgiving or do you just go over to like a family member's house or do you have like a Friendsgiving? I love cooking, so I cook. My mom bought the turkey, but she, gave it to me to cook and I always brine it and stuff like that so I do get started technically like the night before Thanksgiving. My eyebrows are uneven as hell like they always are and it's about to look really crazy because I'm gonna do my eyes first. I'm gonna go in with my Jackie Ina palette and I'm going to take the shade Ginger which is this one down here and I'm going to put that all over my lid and my crease. If any of you went out Black Friday shopping let me know what you picked up. I really didn't see anything that I absolutely like needed or wanted 
and my kids are still pretty young so they don't really ask for many like electronics or anything like that and I know a lot of people now don't even go out to the stores they like to just do their shopping online which I understand because depending on where you live it could get pretty you know pretty busy but I live in a relatively small town and I mean there's a lot of people here don't get me wrong but it's not as crazy as some like bigger cities get I really haven't ever seen any shoving or anything like that I had oh my god last year though John and I were out and I think we were at Target yeah it was at Target and this lady had a doll and another lady was trying to get her to let her buy it off of her because she wanted one for her kid so she was telling the lady like I'll give you $25 cash for it and the lady was like no the doll is like I don't know the doll was more than $25 and she's like but I'll give you cash I'll give it to you right now if you just give me that doll and I was like ma'am obviously if she put the dang doll in her cart she wants it I was like people oh like, that is so ignorant like I need a black shade for the look that I'm going for so I'm gonna go in with my Lurella Cosmetics on the Edge palette. I really like this palette, I talk about it a lot. And I'm going to go in with the shade Jet, which is this black shade down here. I saw, I don't know, I don't know if you guys watched the reel or not, but I saw Tamara's makeup on, I wanna say like Thursday or Wednesday's episode, and it just looked so good. So I was like, you know what? I kinda wanna like recreate it if I could. She had like a black smoky outer corner and then it just went into this really natural shade which is like that ginger that I put all over my lid. I'm really kind of timid when it comes to <laughs> black eyeshadow and that's why I'm doing my eyes first. The only thing about this palette that I don't like is that there's no mirror. I really like having a mirror just to like look up close. Oh god. I feel like this is not this is not turning out how I wanted it to. I cannot believe that it is already the end of the year. I know people say that all the time, but I legit feel like the older I get, the faster time goes by. Like I feel like it was just my birthday. Like it was just June. And now we're about to be in December and then dang, basically it's the new year. It's already 2020. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyeliner. This is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner Pen, and this is in the shade Black is Black. I'm gonna try to do a wing. I'm not very good, but I feel like this, but I feel like this look kind of calls for it. And I believe this is an Elf liquid liner. I'm going to go ahead and conceal around my brows using my foundation and I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I'm just going to kind of like clean up around them. I like doing this when I do my eye makeup first and like my brows and stuff because I feel like if I didn't create like this barrier, my foundation brush would go over my brows and it would just mess up everything that I had just done. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but this just helps me not get foundation all over the work that I just did. Normally I will blend out my foundation with a sponge, but this foundation I feel like I get better coverage if I use a brush. And this is a Luxie Round Top Blender Brush. I think I got this in like a BoxyCharm. To highlight my face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I have the shade Warm Sand. And I'm going to contour using this Wet n Wild Contour Stick in the shade Where's Walnut. I lost his little cap, but he hasn't dried out, which is nice. Alright, so I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. And I'm going to set my face with a brush. Where is it? So I am taken aback. This used to be my favorite blush ever. This is Milani Rose de Oro. And I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face using the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in C Shimmer. And this right here, is blinding. 
blinding. All right guys, this is the finished look. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see me do more like two in one videos where I do my hair and my makeup, let me know, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I will leave a link where you can purchase this wig in the description box if you wanna check it out for yourselves. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red button and turn on your notifications. I am doing Vlogmas this year. I'm not sure if this video is going up before my first Vlogmas episode, but if not, make sure you stay tuned and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video from me again. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.